Hey kids, Cousin Rich here from Castles, Capes, and Clones, and I'm back here at Disneyland because of course I am. And I really have no agenda, so I think I'm gonna hang out in Main Street today and show you what it's like after dark. So join me on today's episode of Hyperspace Hijinks, The Dark Side. Hi there. You know, this is one of my favorite times of the day here, just about sundown. I like to be around when the lights come on. It seems like a new kind of magic takes over in Disneyland after dark. So as Uncle Walt said, there's nothing like Disneyland after dark. And there's also nothing like coming into the park and seeing Main Street to bring you back to childhood, imagination, wonder. And today, as the sun is going down, I'm gonna show you around Main Street after dark. So it is still Halloween weekend here in Disneyland. As you can see, they have uh, villains out and the other characters in the costume. So you have Queen of Hearts, Cruella, Chip in a skeleton costume, and Donald in a pumpkin. And off to the side here, Pluto in Pluto costume. And there's Goofy, and also a skeleton costume. I guess we'll also look out to see if Mickey or Minnie or anyone else comes out. But first stop is Disneyana. So here we have Disneyana guests. Fun fact, this used to be an actual working bank up until the early 90s. It was the Bank of America. It would be the only bank open on Sundays. The front half of Disneyana has kind of your higher end collectibles like this guy. Cool. If anyone, gets me, if anyone wants to get me something for my birthday, this guy. Let me find some prints. Jasmine doll. I want this sign. <laughs> you can see one of the original teller stations. And of course, a vault. Neat. Back here, you have some finer art pieces. Really expensive, really cool. Check this out. This can be yours for $3,500. I really like this piece. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can catch an artist doing um, sketches here, which you can buy. So next to Disneyana is the Opera House, which currently houses the Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln attraction, where you can watch the animatronic Lincoln speak. Fun fact about the Opera House is that it's the oldest building here at Disneyland and served as the lumber mill back in the day. So currently they're housing a Haunted Mansion exhibit that also includes the Muppets from the Muppets Haunted Mansion. Right inside you can find the bench from the Griffith Park, which is where it said that Walt had his eye, first got his idea for Disneyland. History. Sell peanuts, sell peanuts. So here you'll see the Haunted Mansion exhibit. Basically they have a bunch of uh, art pieces and designs from uh, the making of the Haunted Mansion. You also find this giant Disneyland map thing, model. I think this is from when Disneyland first opened in 1955. So here's our Muppet Haunted Mansion piece. Muppet Haunted Mansion! 
And then back here is the entrance to the Lincoln exhibit, including a big model of the Capitol. And the next door to the Opera House is the Mad Hatter, where you can get hats, like your Mickey ears, and then get them customized over here. Oh, and we're in luck. Because it looks like Mickey and Minnie are out in their Halloween attire. Here you have City Hall, where you can find all your customer service, guest relations needs, and there's also the bathrooms, just in case you need to know that. Here is the firehouse, which houses Walt's apartment up there. You can see the light that's on, that is always on, unless the Disney family is here. So right at the beginning of the street, you have the Mickey pumpkin, which, fun fact, in Disneyland, there are two sides to this pumpkin, one with Mickey, both his eyes are open, and the other side where his eye, one eye is blinking, which is something different from Disney World. And as you can see on this side, Mickey is blinking, winking, whichever. So here's another treat with Dapper Dan Brown. So a fun fact about Main Street that most people know is that it was inspired by Marceline, Missouri, which is where uh, the Disney's grew up. At least one of the places when he was younger. What's a little known fact is that it's also inspired by Fort Collins, Colorado, because he liked the way that looked. What some people don't realize is that when you walk down Main Street, you're actually seeing movie magic. They build these facades to make it look like the street, but it's actually not to scale. The bottom floor is actually a 7th, 8th scale. Then as you go up, it gets smaller, but it gives you the illusion that buildings are taller than they really are. The Disney Showcase, which is on the opposite side, you'll find mostly kind of the seasonal stuff or the things that are like kind of newish. Next door, you'll find a magic shop where once a teenage Steve Martin used to work. This is Main Street Cinema, which has also been here pretty long, I think since the beginning as well. Let's go in. And apparently, if I read this banner, it would have told me exactly what was in here. Six great Walt Disney cartoons. I'm awesome. So the Emporium Toys and the Crystal Arcade are all separate, separated stores, but they're all connected. So as you move through, you have the general merchandise over in the Emporium that goes into kind of like home goods and stuff. And then in the Crystal Arcade, you'll find stuffed animals and plushies. And then as you move down, you'll find uh, jewelry, watches, uh, and toys. So the gas lamps in Main Street are actual gas lamps that they bought, I can't remember where from, Missouri, I think. This is the Carnation Cafe where you'll find a sit-down restaurant where they serve 
Walt's favorite chili. Here you have the Market House, which currently houses a Starbucks for all your caffeine needs. So in between the Market House and the Disney Clothiers, is this little alleyway thingy, where if you sit, um, you can hear conversations going on within the windows, like someone giving piano lessons or some violin lessons. It's been a while. But that's also where the lockers are. Next door to the Carnation Cafe is the Gibson Girl Ice Cream Parlor where you can find ice cream. And then the Penny Arcade, you can find uh, sweets, like cookies, desserts, caramel apples, stuff like that. And then as I mentioned earlier, this is the Clothiers, so you can find um, women's clothes, men's clothes, children's clothes. And as we reach the end of Main Street proper, we'll have the Coca-Cola Refreshment Center where you can find like hot dogs, Coke, obviously. And oftentimes you'll find a piano player. Can you spot the odd bulb? There it is. See that? Half red, half white. And on the opposite side is the new Plaza Point Holiday Shop, which used to be the photo shop, or the photo center. Here you'll find uh, holiday stuff, so Christmas stuff right now. It is very Christmassy in here. So you can buy an ornament here and then have it personalized over here. Another angle of the store. Of course, the official holidays at Disneyland don't start until the 12th of November. And I know there's a bunch of other new holidays that are coming out still, so we'll have to come back here later. Around the corner from the uh, holiday shop, you can find a little red wagon, which sells the iconic corn dogs. Then at the end of this alley, you'll find the first aid center and also the baby center, where you'll find all your baby needs, including a family bathroom, and a picture of Walt as a baby. And at the end of Main Street are two restaurants which I love. One is the Plaza Inn, which is home of the best fried chicken in Orange County. Yeah, I said it. What? And then the opposite way is the Jolly Holiday Bakery and Cafe, which has pastries, baked goods, stuff like that and the best tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwich in Orange County. Again, yeah, I saw it. And of course, at the end of Main Street is the hub, where you find the partner statue with Walt and Mickey, and a castle which leads into Fantasyland, and from here you can enter all the other lands. Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs> Welcome! It's time to celebrate the season of tricks and treats. The sights, the sounds. Ooh, and what's this you ask? Well, let me show you. We'll call out the spirits to socialize. After all, my friend, this is
Well, there you go, kids. That was Main Street at Disneyland After Dark, including the fireworks production show. So hope you liked it. And uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll catch you on the dark side. Peace.